Hey honeys, Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or not whenever you're viewing this. Honey, I'm just getting off of a long work shift. So, all right. So today, they brought it back, honeys. They brought it back. Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. So, damn, it's thick. Heavy. So, all right. This is what the taco looks like. I mean, not taco shit. This is what the Mexican pizza looks like. It comes in this box. Alright. Look at that. Alright, so that's some Mexican pizza. So we're going to see what else they got. Okay. So we got a taco, just a regular taco with it. What else? Okay, we got another regular taco with it. So, I got the combo, honeys. Alright, so we got a fork to eat it with. Unlike how Zaxby did and didn't have a damn fork. And, alright. We got some napkins. And we got a straw. For the good old sweet tea of the U.S. of A. Um, so we're going to go ahead and kick this open. Honeys, if you guys have not followed my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 100K by the end of the year. Okay. Find a damn hole now. Oh, my goodness. That is like one of the best sweet tea is that, is, um, Taco Bell. In the South. One of the best. All right, honey. So, you guys already seen the pizza. I'm going to go ahead and dig into it because I haven't had it in so long. And that they were going to replace it with um, some chicken wings. I don't know if that was a rumor or if they did that at certain locations. But I was like, huh? Chicken wings at a Taco Bell? Who would ever eat that? So, it looks like the packaging needs to be set, you know, better quality. So, that's what it looks like, honeys. So, we're going to try it out. Okay. Get you a big chunk. Mmm. So, it's got the meat, the tomatoes, the cheese. Looks like two different types of cheese on it. Mmm. If this will make you say oh yeah, nothing will. Mmm. This is so freaking good. Mm. And I normally don't eat tomatoes, but it's so good. So it's got meat, refried beans, um, two taco shells. Cheese, two different types of cheese, and tomatoes. I guess it has, like, the pizza sauce on there or something. Mmm. Look at that. One-fourth of it's already gone. Comment below if you guys love a Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. Like me. Mm. That's so good. But, honeys, I just got back from the um, seeing Tammy's show. <clears throat> Let me just say, the show was freaking amazing. If the Tammy show comes to a city near you, go fucking see it. I don't want nobody saying, oh, I don't, I haven't seen it yet. Go freaking see it. You have Mama Libby. You have Chelsea. They bust their butts day in and day out to provide the best comedy. And Tina as well, Beth, they provide the best comedy ever. So go check them out. Go see them. Hell, if they, if they don't come to a city near you, go fly to them. And if you don't. 
do better. Okay? Do better. Ooh. I just can't leave this Mexican pizza alone, honey. It goes, mm, mm, and mm, and mm. Because it's that damn good. Then we also got some questions. I took a questionnaire on Instagram. Mm. We guys are going to get into that in a minute. So, in my hometown, there was a restaurant. The last time I went in there, it was like a 67. And I know I shouldn't have went in there. But I was, I was wanting to give them another try. So, me and my brother went in there today. It's like a, it's like a home cooking restaurant. And it's so good. The food is so good. I don't even know why they had a 67. Because the food is good. And it was like, there was nobody in the parking lot but one car. And I'm over here like, just, you know, waiting for those dust barrels of wind. Just, you know... Whipping the um, the hay around the parking lot. That That's what I was waiting on. But, you know, of course, I didn't get that. And I thought it was just so funny that they were still open, but nobody was there. And, but God, the food was so good, though. But I was scared and nervous to go back because last time it was, it was a 67. I was like, but now they're doing better, okay? Um, in Chelsea's words, do better. They did better. Uh, they had a 95. I was very impressed. And, you know, we had another great outing of food. Whew. Uh. Oh, I just love burping. I really do. That means the food is good. If nothing else counts, the food is freaking good. Mm. It's bussin' bussin'. But what have you guys been up to? Comment below. And I'll share it next week on the um on the mup thing. And I've been trying to get people's inputs on, you know, whether to do videos once or twice a week. But I don't know yet because I did it last week and like the views wasn't really that good. I wasn't saying they were bad, but you know, whereas I post one video a week, you know, a lot of people watch it and I can promote one video a lot more than I can with two videos a week. Mm. Well, I have that shit's already gone. So, I'm kind of suggest like, rather to do one video or two videos a week. And I just want your input on it, honeys. Alright, so we got one taco. Regular taco. It's all decked out in tomatoes. Of course. Mmm. Okay. So when you order the Mexican pizza combo, you get the Supreme Tacos. Because I hate when the tacos come and it doesn't have sour cream on it, but this one does. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta love that white chip. Mmm. Okay. okay, honey, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some questions. So we got number one, would you rather move to Hawaii or Alaska? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I hate the damn hot. So, I'm not moving in a hot environment. So, Hawaii would probably be off the list. 
but I love the scenery in Hawaii. But I would probably want to move to Alaska because, you know, even though it's cold there, you can still put layers and layers of clothes on. But whereas in Hawaii, it's hot as shit and you can't. Number two, how was Tammy's show? I saw her and Mama Libby in Philly. Awesome, honey. I'm glad that you went to Philadelphia and saw them. I know they appreciated it. Uh. Whew. Every burp is like a little gift from heaven. But yeah, the show was amazing. I, I cannot spoil nothing for you guys. Because you guys need to go check it out for yourself. It is so freaking good. If I can say it's good, it's fucking good. So, alright, number three. Do you like theme parks and roller coasters? Okay, now I love going to theme parks, you know, but I mostly just walk around, um, go to the shows, um, grab something to eat. I'm not a roller coaster type because I'm afraid of heights. That's like one of my things I've been terrified when I was a kid. It used to be clowns and um, roller clowns and heights. I just haven't got over the heights yet, but the clowns I have. Because who doesn't love watching some It? God. Hey, yeah, Georgie. That was like one of the best um, horror films yet. Hey, yeah, Georgie. You want the boat? <laughs> Stephen King knew what the hell he was doing. That's what you call a top-notch man. And then less than a month now, they're going to um, bring out Elvis. Um, directed by Baz Lorman and um, Austin Butler plays um, Elvis Presley. I can't wait for that movie as well. That's going to be another good one. And it's long as shit, too. It's like two hours and 39 minutes. Can you guys believe that? Me sitting through a theater for two hours and 40 minutes of nothing but Elvis? I can fucking deal with that. I can live with that. I wish the film was four hours, because I would definitely sit there and watch every bit of it. So, number four. What is the worst place you have eaten? Whew. I cannot... Okay, so there's another restaurant. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say where. I want to forget one time I was in there sitting and I saw rats run across the floor. You know, if you guys are eating, pause it, stop it, you know, listen to this part when you don't have no food right in front of you if you have a weak stomach. But, honey, I saw rats run across the room like, the fuck? These people got pet rats? Who does that shit? Because I know I wouldn't. And then, like, they come by and uh, when you want something to drink. But, um, right before they, you know, pour the glass in, I mean, you know, pour whatever it is, they take the napkins out of the glass, and it looks like it's been there, sitting there for, like, three, you know, what, two days, and they just take it out and pour your drink in there. I was like, no, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I've already saw a rat. I've already saw this dusty-ass thing in my drink, and they just poured my tea in there. Hell with that shit, so I walked out. So, yeah, that was, like, one of the worst experiences I've ever had at a restaurant. And I would not go back there for nothing. <laughs> I don't care if you pay me a million dollars. I would not go back there. All right, so, number five. will When will Baby Oopsie air? All right, honey, so, Baby Oopsies. Baby Oopsies. I wish we had more than one Oopsies. Oopsie, Oopsie. Uh, but it's coming out this summer. So, you guys just got to stay tuned to when it comes out. I promise you guys, you guys want to check this episode out because they are so freaking hilarious. And the horror is good, too. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Well, that's it, honey, for this mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to come back next week and, you know, more questions, more topics. And, honey, I don't know what's going on with this damn Amber Heard case and Johnny Depp, but I'll be so glad when it's over with. 
I don't keep up with it. I don't keep up with it. I haven't kept up with nothing of it. But my friend's been telling me a lot of shit about it, though. Sam's been telling me a lot of shit. And I saw on TMZ, they had like a little article that went, um, not an article, but a headline says, um, Amber shits in Johnny Depp's bed. I'm like, huh? If that bitch would have shit in my bed, oh no, honey, that bed and her will be out the damn door because I ain't dealing with that. her shit. Literally, her shit. So, yeah, I was, I was like, the fuck? What kind of five-year-old shit is this that they're pulling? So, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with it. If you guys have, are you guys Team Johnny or Team Amber? Because I'm Team Johnny. But, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell to be notified when I post my next video next week. And subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 100K by the end of the year. I'm also on Cameo. You know, it's great for personal shout-outs, great for birthdays and anniversaries. Cheer somebody up. Plus, Father's Day is coming up. So, go ahead and book your cameos right now, just in time for Father's Day. Plus, you know, go ahead and hit the follow and the likes on all my social medias. The, yeah, the follows, the likes, the shares, everything. And it's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the description. I mean, all the links will be in the description box below. So go ahead, honeys. I love you. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Love you, honeys. Bye.